Yula. It is all of you, Iweriko. It's not all the amusement. A little click, if it leads to Izo. Yeah. 
Well then, hidey ho there, folks. You, I, will do I will be on thy way. Hidey ho there, folks, and welcome to Shadow of the Colossus. By far, one of my favorite games I have ever played. So we're getting the tutorial right now, how to move around. Sunlit place, hold up the sword using circle. Look where the light focuses, which is dead ahead. I decided to be quiet all throughout that opening because this game story is so good. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. But hello, hello. We're gonna be getting on with this game. Come on now, aggro. Come with me, my trusty steed. Where is he? There he is. I just wanted to let the story play out. Just to let you guys get a whole gist of it. I didn't want my voice ruining it. Or cutting it in between the title screen. Giving us the basics on how to control aggro, the horse. Don't really need that. We have a sword and bow. That's all we need. And display the map. This map is freaking huge. Now... For portions of the game, I'm not entirely sure how I really want to do this. Because there are certain things in the game that you can collect, uh, fruit being one of them. It increases your overall health. And white-tailed lizards at save points. That increases your grip strength, that pink meter that you see there. Is there any more fruit? think so. Maybe it's only the one. But yeah. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a long time. Oops. Apparently I... Come on, Ag come on. Now wander, jump! Uh, throughout the story, uh, Wander's name is not said. Damn it. I keep letting go of Grip, which is uh, R1. It's not said throughout the story, Wander's name, but in the Japanese manual, uh, it lists his name as Wander. This game is so peaceful, too. Absolutely beautiful. And this came out on the PS2, and it will really stun you later on when we have to defeat the 16 Colossi. I think that's it. Is that really just one fruit? Anywho, I'll come back to it later. Come here, buddy. Let's go! The sword is only pointing us completely forward. So we just have to worry about that. But when it comes to the collecting of fruit yeah. and white lizards, I don't know if I want to leave it in, because that's really just a lot of looking around <laughs> that I'm not entirely sure I want to keep in. I may have to think about yeah. it. I don't want, I don't want to chop up any bit of this game. I want to keep it all intact. It's, it's beautiful. And the soundtrack is com 
completely on point. Alright, let's go. Using R1, you can grab onto places. Whether it be moss or colossi. Jump up and hold R1 to hold on. Yep, that's the uh, jump I was just showing you. Or you can just climb as normal. God, I love this game. I know people are probably going to get probably confused because the first 15, 10 minutes had no commentary, but that's why I labeled the videos with commentary. That way if someone actually comes to bitch complain, well, you clicked on the wrong video, I'm sorry. Oh, the scope of this game, the scope, it came out on the PS2. I didn't play it on the PS2 though. I honestly only played it on the uh, HD re-release, which I am playing right now. But we are about to come up upon our first colossi, and you'll know them when you see them. Uh-huh. Yeah, baby. Look at that big dude. He's shaking the trees. Switch weapons. Yeah, to the arrow. We don't have to do that, though. Look at him. He's got bird circling around him. I want to look the colossi and hold L1 to keep it fixed. Let's get his attention. You can use the X button, X button like whatever you uh, call for aggro. Hey, handsome. How you doing? Uh oh. Here it goes. Being the first Colossi, he actually is very easy to defeat. Just come around to him. Look how big this guy is. Hold thy sword up to reflect onto the Colossus. Oh shit, he, he actually dropped me. Holy shit. Get up, Wander. That was not, that was not according to plan. Calm down there, big fella. So here's a weak point here, like a little vein. You get him to stumble. Keep hitting it though, and he gets on his knees. Attack place holding on to. The longer you gain gather power, the more damage it'll have. Yep. Which is the uh, the circle. The pink is uh, your grip, like I said. But the circle indicates how much strength your sword attack will have. We're running out of grip. We don't have infinite. We're not Nathan Drake. We are Wander the Incredible. The Tenacious, I should say. Good thing, though, too. This guy is kind of like a practice colossi. But even so, it's still magnificent. Look at him. PS2, guys. PS2. Did this. Granted, the frame rate really was choppy. But I digress. It is still magnificent. This dude is curtain for he's like a minotaur. Hey there, handsome. There's his weak point. That's what we always have to hit for every Colossi. There's always one of them. And it dude does a huge chunk of damage. That's the only way to kill him. And thankfully, this guy only has the one. And once you get up here, he kind of just lets you do it. so sad about what we're doing to these guys. That sad music. It's for a good cause, buddy. Trust me. Now it's time to run. Run! I'm running the wrong way. 